What's going on Spartans? Welcome back today. We are going to be doing some Rival Kingdoms. So you guys have been voting a lot for this and saying you really want to see it and I've been enjoying playing it. So I do play this daily actually. There has not been a day in the last month that I have missed playing. So obviously I do play a lot and I really do enjoy it. So I want to go ahead and talk some strategy and just show some awesome fun stuff. Obviously that fast forward button is one of my favorite features in the game. We're just going to zoom through the beginning because this is really easy attack stuff so on this I basically in the beginning of the whole like attack like from 0 to 12 is basically how far you go in your um, you know systematic attack so every single attack you do gives a little harder so when you're at 0 on a score streak it's really easy and then we get to like 5 it starts getting more difficult at like 8 it gets hard by 10 it starts making you try to lose and by 12 you're no longer going to be winning. So I'm at a war streak or win streak of one, and I need to get a little farther. So do you guys want to see some... Oh, shoot, I haven't been doing any actual wars with my clan or whatever you call it. Have not been doing any. So I need to get some of those started up, and I'll be filming that. You guys will enjoy that a lot. That is a really fun part of this game and really strategic, and it's definitely a cool way to play the game. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff inside. If you haven't been playing, make sure you download, obviously. Um, and join my kingdom. We are Sparta. So easy to know, easy to find. Definitely get in here and help us out. We're going to be killing it. And here we go. Winning one more easy battle. Look at this. Just blowing walls for fun because we can. That's my new signature move. Just blow up walls when I... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. That's funny. All right. So basically, you can make your dragon fly around at the end of the battle. I don't know if you saw it, but he started to dive. You can actually make him fly at the end. It's really awesome. I won 18,000 gold on my win streak of two. That's pretty solid. I'm happy with that. Let's keep going. And we got a treasure chest. What's up, treasure? Yeah, let's see what we get. All right. Actually, treasure chests are like my favorite part. I love getting cool stuff. Um, right now, 6,000 gold. Not bad, considering it's only the second score streak. So that's pretty awesome. And oh no, my camps are ready. So that's what that said. It just said my troops are ready, I think. I'm pretty positive. It's in Norsk. I kind of understand what it means now. So, I play a lot, so I kind of understand Norsk. I kind of learned it from Clash, thank God, you know. Alright, so we're going to actually attack this in an interesting way. We're using our actual, like, swordmen to distract everything on the edges, and then trying to get our archers into range of the keep to kill it, and then dropping down our heroes here to destroy. So, we got those ice guys just going to work. And look at that, it worked out. We are killing it. We are absolutely destroying this base. And there goes the dragon flying through, freezing stuff. And by the way... When you do that, the Dragon's Freeze actually does damage all the buildings that he touches. So, you do want to try and make him touch as many buildings as possible because he takes like 5% health from everything he touches, which is awesome. And it's a really easy way to get some extra, uh, you know, destruction on the base. Alright, so this score streak's coming to an end here. Let's see what we can do. Come on, come on, come on. 26,000 gold. Not bad. Five rings. I'm loving the rings. The rings are expensive, guys. I do not like that. Rings cost a lot of diamonds if you want to use diamonds to get them. Um, and I don't have a lot of diamonds. I did buy some, so I have like 5,000. But, but, that's not really important. I kind of am addicted to the game. Don't judge. Alright, so who else is addicted to Rival Kingdoms? Go ahead and do a hashtag RK Spartans down below. If you are watching to this point and you are addicted, RK Spartans with a hashtag in the comments. And I will know who you guys are. Um, I did give away like $3,000 in $50 codes though while I was going to Montreal. So hopefully you guys got a chance to win those on my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, you lost out there. Make sure you go do that soon because I will probably get more of those codes. Um, and I'll definitely get some more multi-use codes for you guys. That's a definite. That's for sure I'll get some of those. But I try to get the expensive codes because they're worth more obviously. So don't know how many I want to buy or get. But we will definitely be working on getting more of those for you guys to give away. And here we go, killing the final base. Oh my god, get through those walls. Look at them go, just smashing the walls to the ground. That's awesome. So, nice little hurrah there by our ice giants. And <laughs> a nice epic victory, guys. I don't know anything but epic victories. What about you? And here we go, one more. A chest, a relic chest. I love these. All right, relic chest. Give me a nice little ancient. Give me an ancient. Come on. Ah, Primus. Oh, whatever. All right, so Primus is not my most... I guess my favorite thing, it's really not. I get a lot of it, so it's kind of like whatever. But I do love getting Ancients. What Ancients have you guys collected so far? I'll have to show you mine another time. Everyone has done the whole like, oh, I show all my Ancients. But I really do want to show them because I got some really high-level good Ancients here. And they're really fun to use. So I'm going to try 
uh, doing a different ancient every time I do a video, but I really am kind of addicted to Hagar. He's really awesome. He's so strong. And by the way, just using these like little wall breakers to get through. And there we go. I'm getting in there. Come on, archers. Kill it. Kill it. No. Go. Freeze. Freeze. You got to freeze him. Okay, so we got to freeze this up. Give it a second. We're waiting until we get that second one. So that's the strategy I use, guys. Oh, no. Shoot. I let my dragon die. Damn. That's rough. All right. So put a freeze down. Let those ice giants do some work. But they're going to die. And that is going to be the end of this attack. But my archer is valiantly trying to fight on. And he's gonna, she's going to die. He's going to die. I don't know whether it's a guy or girl, actually. I've never found that out. I should probably find out whether the archers are guys or girls. Hmm. Curious. Do you guys know? I don't. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's something we definitely need to learn for the next episode. Interesting. By the way, a lot of you actually were asking me who we went to Montreal with. So I went there with Godson, Nick at Night, J-Rod, and Lonnie Lonnie. Master Ob was there. Uh, who else? Who else was there? David Plays. I don't know if you know him. Um, a, a smaller YouTuber from Montreal named Timmy. He actually was there. Timmy Gaming, I think is his name. I, I don't know. If I got wrong, sorry, buddy. But it was a lot of fun actually meeting up with those guys. They were really cool. And who else did, Who else went besides for a White Lightning and Hurley Gaming? Uh, that's about it, though. I mean, it was a lot of really cool guys. Hurley, obviously, I know. And White Lightning, obviously. Mr. Mystic 7. You guys know we've worked with him in the past quite a bit. So good friends with him. He's very cool. And definitely always a good time to hang out with. So it was, it was definitely interesting. Let's meet uh, some vlogs. Excuse me. I bet my tongue there. Jesus. Um, <laughs> how much fun that hurts. Uh, don't do that, guys. Do not bite your tongue. But I actually was going to show a vlog with some pictures and, of course, things like that. If you want to see that, let me know. But hopefully you do because I'm probably going to make it whether you want to see it or not. And that's just because I think it's interesting. And it definitely was fun to meet them all and uh, took a lot of photos. A lot of goofy photos of these guys. They're hilarious. All right, so 6,000 more gold. Not the best thing to get out of a treasure chest. Hoping for something better next time. And here we go. We had a few extra stones, so we're going to go ahead and use those. And we are on score streak 8. That's not bad at all. I'm liking that. That's actually pretty solid. So we are, oh boy, come on now. Available loot only 10k. That's not, that's not special. So you can see my strategy once again. Dropping the barbarian guys on the edges there. The sword men go in there and they rage up. And then these archers come in and crush and there we go. Going to go ahead and go through that wall. There we go. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Come on. Go. What do you? Oh, my God. They do need to change AI on that. If a wall breaks, the troops should go through the wall if it's near them. I don't know how they need to change it, but that's a really a feature they should actually add in. Um, here we go. Crushing it. And looks like we got rid of all the defenses. It's going to be an epic victory once again. Just breaking walls so our guys don't have to work too hard to get through them. And then dropping down a nice little ice ancient to go help out. And those giant dudes are really awesome. Super OP. All right. So are you guys farther than me in the game or am I farther than you? I don't know. I've kind of been playing a lot, but there's also a lot of things that I need to do. And I don't have a lot of time to play compared to what I'd like to. So I feel like it's a really easy chance for people to actually get ahead of me in the game. But I also do play daily. So unless you play daily and play multiple times a day, you're probably not farther than me. I don't know. Win streak seven. What? I thought we were on win streak eight. What happened? Did we go backwards, guys? Did I lose something? No, I didn't. But, all right. Interesting base. When they have double walls like this, I always get a little, like, skeptical of how to attack them. And, oh, you can hear I'm getting text messages. Very nice. All right. So, I'm thinking of attacking from the top because, ooh, actually, the bottom might be better because I want to take out the catapults. And I definitely do not want to hit those towers. Those spell towers are bad news. And if I hit the spell towers and the... Oh, catapults would be really terrible news. So we're going to take the catapults out before the spell towers are in range of us, which is why we're going from the bottom. And I think this is going to go really well. It looks like we might be able to pull this one off. We'll just break it in through the walls. And oh, no, 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 no. Take it out, take it out, take it out. This is not going as well as I'd hoped. We're going to use a freeze and our dragon at the same time. Kind of a waste, but I was really desperate to save my archers. And it worked out. So here comes another freeze and then some ice giants. Our little monster ancients are in there. And we're not going to get an epic victory, I don't think. Oh, man. We do get the victory, though. And I'm pretty happy with it. Whoa, we got epic. What? That's crazy. I didn't think it would be epic victory. But hopefully this, uh, I don't know. It sounds really loud to me. But the plane sounds, can you guys hear those? I have my window open. It's so nice out right now in Chicago. I have to enjoy the weather. And, yeah, it's just beautiful out right now. Here comes this relic chest. Let's open now. See what we get here. Hopefully we get an ancient. That's what I'm always hoping for. But I rarely get them. I always get Primus or something. And I kind of get sick of it. And no, at least it's Lightning Primus. Lightning Primus is kind of rare in my opinion. 
but pure primus is actually the most valuable like pure primus can be used in anything so it's really valuable i get shit tons of like nature primus though i get tons of it like i get so much of it i don't even have any like nature heroes or ancients i can use it i have like one and i don't ever use her so i actually might start using her she's kind of cool and oh how should we attack this that's interesting i think we get up on the bottom again like if i attack from the top it's gonna be a mistake maybe i'll try it but i feel like the bottom come on now stop texting me guys come on i'm trying to do a video just because i'm a youtuber doesn't mean i don't work guys um <laughs> actually we are going to drop our troops at the bottom here go into this base and i really don't feel like youtubing is a job i mean i know i work a lot i spend a lot of time on videos and playing and stuff like that but I, I just feel like it's it's a privilege to be doing this and I really am thankful for you guys as fans so if I don't say that enough I feel like I should always say it to you like as much as possible um, unfortunately well what we lost that was epic fail epic fail we're gonna go ahead and end on a defeat I can't believe it all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed if so like comment subscribe and of course definitely stay tuned for more episodes and I'll probably have a clash video out tomorrow but if not I'll see you guys the next day peace